got an exciting day at auction today. Uh, nine properties under the hammer in our May 2024 auctions. I don't think that's the biggest auction portfolio um, Newcastle seen, I think. Anyway, some exciting uh, news, some success stories. Dane, overview. Overview, yeah. yeah. So we had a real diverse mix of assets that were offered for sale, as Byrne said, so nine in total. So it was a significant uh, collection offered uh, to market. And uh, in terms of probably the most significant uh, transaction that did sell on the day would be the Martins Creek Quarry. Yeah. Uh, I think that's probably uh, the largest uh, capital value transaction in our market to sell uh, under auction, which uh, which would have to be the performance of the day for sure. Yeah. And obviously, uh, three other properties sold on the day. Yeah. A mix of industrial investments, commercial investments. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on those um, those sales? Yeah, well, in terms of Ferris Field, I mean, that's your, that's your space, mm -hmm. but you know it's sort of widely discussed now that the yeah. uh, the industrial market is still performing very strongly. Very well. So, yeah. you know, the prime grade assets and uh, is, is still hotly contested. Yeah. Uh, 9 to 11 Elwell was the property that we, we offered uh, for sale. Yeah. Uh, that sold under the hammer. Yeah. Uh, I think we had four registered four bidders, registered bidders uh, yeah. in total, yeah. uh, and, and three of them put their hand up, and yeah, it was a good, strong auction. Uh, sold for four million, million and 20, and 20 yeah. so, which was about 6.2% uh, yield there. So, again, yeah, pretty, pretty strong result. Yeah. In Carrington, Carrington, yeah. still performing in incredibly well a mixed uh, multi-tenanted uh, commercial retail asset at 89.91. Yes, yeah, Isaac and Sebastian from the commercial team, they, they ran that campaign. And again, uh, there was four uh, registered bidders and of the four, three, three uh, put their hand out, hand up and had mm. a bid. Uh, so we breached reserve there pretty strongly and, and sold that for three million. 6.1% return. 6.1% was yeah. it? Still performing quite well. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And then uh, lastly, uh, 342 Hunter Street, so 2.1 million. Yeah, 2.1, so probably under under rented uh, as an asset. Uh, 2.1, so from a return perspective, uh, that shows it's pretty pretty tight, probably 4% on an initial passing yield. But in terms of, uh, in terms of capital value or, or an improved rate, I think is a pretty strong result. The, the main driver there would be, was the inner city uh, and standalone freehold building. There's four stratas uh, in total. Uh, and that campaign generated a lot of interest. Uh, there's uh, over 60 inquiries in total, a lot of inspections and, uh, and a number of, uh, a number of uh, registered bidders on the day. And uh, yeah, in, in the end sold for 2.1, so the owner and the purchaser are both yeah. very happy. Yeah. We also have a number of properties pass in, but as you can see, the auction approach still works incredibly well. Yeah. Because we've had a property pass in at Stroud already. We've got terms agreed to within a couple of hours after the auction. Yeah, I, I think yeah. like in terms of in terms of the auction process as a, as a whole, definitely did its job today. Mm. You know, selling the four under the hammer, and then the, the balance of the properties. There's a few there that. Uh, will likely transact and get agreed terms today. Yeah. Uh, so we'll still sell under auction conditions. Uh, so yeah, Stroud, as you, as you mentioned, uh, passed in uh, on the floor at 620,000 uh, and we've got agreed terms at 645,000. So that, okay. that deal will be done uh, yeah. at some point in time today. Yeah, and it was pretty much standing room only in the uh, commercial collect yeah. collective auction room. Uh, I think we had a good, probably 40 people, 40 plus people here. Yeah. So the next auction is in uh, June. Yep. Yeah. The next auction in June, so that's exciting as well. So uh, as you can see, the, the auction's working well. Yes. In this, method, in, in this market, the auctions are working incredibly well to achieve results for our clients. So uh, I think stay tuned for our um, 19th of June auction.